وش ممكن لو ما عجبنا آه سامعيني شايفين السكرين اه دكتور تمام يعطيكم العافيه جميعا صباح الخير جود مورنينج ايفري ون سو توداي وي هاف انذر ليكتشر ان ريسبيرتري سيستم ويتش از اباوت لانجز بروميس يو ات ويل بي ا انتريستينج ليكتشر ا هوب يو انجوي ات اند جيت بينيفيت فروم ات سو وين يو يو سي ذيس فيجرز ميبي ان ذا براكتيكال اكزام اي ويل اسك يو اباوت such these figures which is from cadaver i know we don't have cadavers hopefully in the future but you have to take care so let us start with a brief introduction about the lung simply let me use this uh, pin here is the pin okay okay so you know guys you have two lungs you have one on the right and one on the left and both are located on each side of mediastinum this is number one and when you look for uh, any lung you will see it's like conical shape يعني زي حب زي الحب هيك conical shape covered by visceral pleura with that adheres as we mentioned yesterday adheres to it and even cadaver you cannot remove it from the surface of the lung and it's suspended in the thoracic cavity like freely except at the hilum here in which there is a couple of structures known as root of the lung um, uh, suspend the uh, both lungs uh, medially so um, this is a general features for the lung I don't want to um, consume that much time on it but you have to know that each lung guys has apex uh, you know right or left it doesn't matter so you have apex and of course when you have apex that means you have a pace uh, inferiorly and it has three borders the anterior border here which is sharp but the posterior border you see here is like round and smooth and you have also another inferior border the anterior border and inferior border both are sharp but the posterior no is round and smooth and of course you know that it has two surfaces you have the media uh, uh, mediastinal surface and you have a coastal surface which is not shown in this figure so this is the apex of the right and left lung that projected as we mentioned yesterday that the brighter pleura projected about one inch above the medial third of the clavicle if you uh, if it's correct to draw it like this also the uh, apex of the lung when you take a deep breath also it extends up into that um, area so on the other hand, this is about the apex, just simple uh, information. So the base is concave, as you see, because the apex is like convex, but the base is concave because here is the presence of the diaphragm on the right and the stomach here on the left. So there is a, uh, sorry, the liver, I mean, the diaphragm, of course, below each, uh, both of them. But so here's there's uh, liver and there's the stomach and other organs. So borders of the lung guys as i mentioned the anterior border you see is like sharp and the inferior border also sharp and the uh, 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 when you look to the right lung here yes it's continuous all the way down but the when you look to the left lung here is the anterior border of the left lung is not continuous like that on the right because the presence of the heart here it creates a kind of this notch called cardiac notch this is this is very important um uh, feature on the left lung on the left lung in which this cardiac notch can be so, uh, shown like uh, on lung and on uh, x-ray and because of this cardiac notch it creates a kind of a small extension here which is like the tongue we call it lingula lingula now listen guys look at the left lung it composes from two lobes superior lobe and inferior lobe here is the important thing the cardiac notch and lingula they are part of the superior lobe not inferior lobe right they are part from superior lobe them do the exams we'll have the cardiac notch and lingula 
اللي صارت بسبب هذا النوتش they are part of superior lobe of left lung now posterior border round and smooth and the inferior one is sharp right that of course separates the base from the costal surface on the other side here's just uh, figures um, for you you can look at them if you need after maybe a couple of slides we need maybe to go back and watch them so uh, make sure not consume that much time so surfaces of the lung we finished the apex and the pace and borders anterior inferior border posterior border and we talked about the left lung also that the anterior border has a cardiac notch here and because of this notch there is a kind of something like a tongue called lingula and both are part of from the superior um lobe of left lung but what about the surfaces very simple you have two surfaces costal surface which is um unfortunately where is that this is the costal surface look at it the lateral surface the costal surface against the ribs look here there is like impression for uh, ribs so an intercostal space and the costal uh, muscles and you have mediastinal surface احنا بنقول mediastinum لما بنحكي بس mediastinum بتقول عنها mediastinum لما بت... لما بتحط لها ايه قلب النهايه ولا surface بتصير mediastinal surface mediastinal surface like the hala here mediastinum now so anyway this is the costal surface and this is the mediastinal uh, surface now the mediastinal surface here guys can be divided in two parts just to facilitate study it there is anterior mediastinal part and posterior vertebral part so the anterior mediastinal part in its like posterior end it has the hilum and this is the uh, posterior vertebral part which is related to the ver um, thoracic uh, vertebrae and the uh, intervertebral disc and intercostal posterior intercostal vessels so again back to the mediastinal surface which is very important when you look to the mediastinal surface mediastinal surface you will find the hilum the entrance for the lung لما بتحكي hilum في بتفرق عن الروت the hilum is the doorway the entrance to the lung that's of course created here by the reflection of the parietal pleura and visceral pleura and of course hang down to form pulmonary um, ligament but these structure these structures you see guys bronchus, artery, vein, I mean vessels, lymphatics, nerves. These structures form the root of the lung. You know, if you have a tree like this, so the tree, of course, has roots, right? So that means, so roots are structures. These structures form the root of the lung, right? We'll talk about it more. So, yes, now the, we know this is the hilum, the entrance of the lung, either on the right or on the left, and these are the structures located uh, in the hilum, pass it through the hilum to the lung, forming the root, which is collection of structures, as I mentioned. And we uh, already um, mentioned that. Now, let us define what those structures now you are looking to the hilum of right lung here and hilum of the lung, uh, left lung on the other side okay but somebody can say yet yes what those structures yes this slide as important why for many things this slide and the next couple of slides they are very important this is what we need to focus on so these structures of course because the lung is um, uh, an organ so we need arteries that means we have pulmonary arteries here and we have pulmonary veins and of course we mentioned that the trachea divided into uh, bronchus then um, you know main bronchus secondary tertiary and bronchus and so forth so this is the bronchus here we'll talk more about that and you have 
lymphatics, you have a blood vessels also to supply not just the uh, uh, bronchus but also part from the lung and uh, his bronchial vessels and nerves, uh, plexus which is not shown here. Simply an organ, so we need artery, vein, nerve, lymphatic and because it's lung so we need a bronchus or bronchi. Okay, now what these structures? Yes, we mentioned the bronchus, pulmonary artery, vein, lymph nodes, and so forth. This is very important. Now, most importantly, because anybody knows uh, these structures, the most important is the arrangement, is the anatomy, is the arrangement of these structures. Yes, so let us define the um, general, general, general um, rule. The general rule, قاعدة العامة, إنه the artery فوق, the vein تحت, and the bronchus من الخلف. قاعدة العامة. So the general, generally, you have to remember that this is very important slide. So um, generally, this is okay with left lung. Let us start with left lung. So هذا تبع الحديد بيبي تمام. هلا so in the left lung, guys, here it's okay. The rule can be, um, you can find those structures according to that rule in the left lung. So now this is the pulmonary artery. This is pulmonary artery, superiorly. Tamam, tamam. Type. And the vein, inferior, do you remember in the heart? If you remember the heart in the left atrium, you will have pulmonary veins on the right and on the left. And pulmonary veins are four, right? So, you have superior pulmonary vein and inferior pulmonary vein. Superior pulmonary vein, inferior pulmonary vein. So, when you cut it at the lung, you will find superior pulmonary veins and inferior pulmonary veins. تمام تمام. Yes, they are not totally inferior. They are anterior inferior. Anterior inferior. If you go to the relation, you will find that, right? Okay. إذا القاعدة العامة إنه الأرتري أعلى إشي عندي وهو بيستحق والأوطى إشي بيكون عند الفين مع الرقم هو بيجي anterior inferiorly ومن الخلف هو البرونكس هاي قاعدة زبطت معانا بالليفت لانك but on the right lung there is an a small exception here what is that exception okay again this is anterior and this is posterior يعني هون من الأمام right here is anteriorly. So, this is superiorly. In the right lung, we, I said yesterday that the trachea divided into right and left. This is the left, right? So, divided into right main bronchus. And I mentioned that the right main bronchus, which is very important, the right main bronchus will not wait until it gets into the lung. ما بتستنى حتى تفوت اللنج. بس توصل على الهايلم هذا الهايلم. هذا this is the hilum of the lung. So the main, the right main bronchus once once it reaches the hilum, مستعجلة. بتنقسم مباشرة. عندي اللنجز كم لوب؟ عندي ثلاثة لوب. Superior, middle, inferior lobe. So once the right main bronchus once it reaches the hilum. Of the right lung, it divides directly in the hilum into a bronchus here called superior lobar bronchus, which is the secondary bronchus, yani, for the superior lobe. And another division here, one for the middle and one for the inferior. So, but this one inside the lung, the only division may you find at the hilum of the lung is the superior lobar bronchus and the other division to the other lobes. يعني خليني أشيل عشان أوضح لك إياها وتأكد إنه وصلت الفكرة. عشان ما تلخبطوا علينا أنا مهمة بالامتحان. So 
هاي التريكيا ديفايدد انتو رايت اند مين برونكس المين برونكس حتنقسم لها سكندري برونكس بالرايت لانج ديفايدز ايرلي يعني مفروض تروح زي اختها على الليفت وتفوت على اللانج وجوا اللانج تنقسم لها سكندري لكن الرايت مين برونكس لا مستعجله بتنقسم اول ما تيجي على الباب عند الهايلم مباشره بتعطي سوبيريور Uh, lower bronchus or superior secondary bronchus to the superior lobe and another division will continue inside the lung then it divides into one for the middle and one for the inferior uh, uh, of course superior, uh, middle and inferior lower bronchus okay that's why so what does it mean طيب شو يعني اه طيب شو بدك تفهمني بقول لك يعني لما بتطلع على السي تي او لما لما بدك تطلع على wait this one So when you look to the hilum of the right lung, the artery is not the superior one. ما زبط عليها القاعدة. The pulmonary artery is not the superior one. The superior one is the superior lobar bronchus. هاي أعلى شيء. Now below it is the artery, pulmonary artery, and most inferiorly is the uh, pulmonary vein, superior and inferior pulmonary vein. This is the exception. This is very important, and everything written here. So somebody can say, yes, uh, I would like to use letters and abbreviation. Okay, let me explain this to you. Now, from superior, this is the right lung. So from superior to inferior, in the right lung, which is the exception, you have the bronchus, pulmonary artery, and vein. So you have bronchus, pulmonary artery and vein but on the left lung which is you know we accepted the rule here in which the highest thing is the pulmonary artery the inferior thing is the vein and most posterior is the bronchus but on the right no the bronchus is the superior thing and also posteriorly but the superior thing right so but somebody can say yet what about the arrangement anterior to posterior that means if we move from anterior here toward the posterior most anteriorly is the vein posterior to it is the artery and the bronchus and again here here is anteriorly left lung most anterior thing is the vein then you can say here is the artery and vein it's not exactly one hand person but you got the idea so um can you define the structures here guys can you open your mic can you uh, help me define those structures in two minutes or what these um, figures and these structures are very important in the exam in the lab so this is I what's your name هاشم هاشم دكتور ماشي يا هاشم هاشم بدي اغششك مغششك اياها هون هاي الرايت لانك بس بديش ابلش معك بالرايت لانك خلينا نبلش بالليفت لانك اللي هي بتطبع القاعده زين تمام تمام انا حاطك مغششك كمان هون بقول لك هاي الانتيرير وهون البوستيرير شايف البوستيرير كيف سموث راوند والانتيرير شارب طيب الليفت لانك يو نو ذا ليفت لانك فولوز ذا رولز ان ويتش ارتري سوبيريور vein inferior تمام هذا شو بتعتقد هذا pulmonary artery هذا بقول لكم هاشم هذا pulmonary artery هاي بنحط له artery طيب ومين ال anterior inferior هذول اثنين vein برافو عليك هذا superior superior pulmonary vein وهذا inferior pulmonary vein طيب ومين لعد هاي اللي فيها شايف الاسود هذا شايف الاسود آه. هذا كارتليج مش فيها كارتليج البرونكس آه. هذا هو شايفه سو so هاي حتكون شو من الخلف البرونكس آه. البرونكس تمام تعال على الرايت هاي مغششك هون الانتيرير تمام <تصفيق> ايوه الرايت قلنا فيها اكسبشن عند البرونكس ما بتستنى اول ما بتوصل على الهايلم شو بصير لها شعر <تصفيق> بتشعب برافو عليك بتعطي السكندري تمام طيب شو رايك هون شو تصورك شو هذول 
فين فين يس هذا السوبيرير فين وهذا الانفيرير بولمونري فين برافو عليك انتيريو انفيرير اللي من الامام ومن تحت بقى عندك شغلتين اللي فوق البولمونري ترانك اللي فوق وين اول واحد اللي فوق ال اللي مأشر عليه هذا شو؟ هاي ارتري هذا ترانك هذا ايش؟ بلموناري ترانك ليش؟ مش مش نحن قلنا الرايت الرايت لانج ها؟ بتشعب اول ما تيجي على هاي لانج طيب مين اعلى شيء عندك بالصوره شايف؟ الارتري ولا البرونكس؟ ها هاي اعلى شيء ولا مين اعلى شيء؟ هاي اعلى شيء صح؟ اه اه ايوه هاي اعلى شيء اذا هاي البرونكس نعم هو المفروض يكون الارتري العالي زي الليفت هون بس كونه البرونكس بتسبقه بالبدايه وبتتفرع فبنشوف هاي اللي هو السوبيرير لوبر برونكس وهذا البلمونري ارتري حتى هي البلمونري ارتري عامل مثله مين بيقلد البرونكس البلمونري ارتري بيقلده بيقلد البرونكس وهي ينقسم شايف اعطى مثله هاي ارتري السوبيرير لوب هذا السوبيرير لوب وكمل اثنين واحد على الميدل واحد على تحت حيكونوا وينقسموا جوا اللانك تمام ثانك يو هاشم سو هير از ذا ذا انسرز يو ار رايت ثانك يو اند ناو ليت اس شيفت فور انذر امبورتنت ثينج هير جايز ويتش از ذا mediastinal surface of the right lung again to the mediastinal surface nothing to do with the coastal surface most importantly is the mediastinal, mediastinal surface so there are a couple of let me show you what I mean you see in the mediastinal surface there are grooves on the lung I will show you these features these structures so you have to know these structures may I ask you in the practical exam for example I will put like and a row here and I will say indicate what the structure are located this group for which structure you have to know especially in the practical exam so okay back to the uh, but they are easy now you are looking to the right lung yes anteriorly here is the heart mainly the right atrium so this is cardiac impression right this is the first thing and you know on the right side, you have superior vena cava here and impression for inferior vena cava. Very simple, superior and inferior. And you know, you have the first rib here, which is laterally, of course. So it creates a kind of impression here, in anteriorly. Behind it is the subclavian vein and behind it is subclavian artery. Because you know, subclavian vein, anterior to subclavian artery. These three structures, you will find them also on the left. Create an impression. Excellent. Still in the right. You remember that in the right, you have a zygous vein. So this is the zygous vein on the right. Yes. Then it's uh, lateral to the esophagus here, close to the lung. And this is the arch of a zygous that drains the blood into superior vena cava. Furthermore, you have the esophagus. Esophagus, you will see esophagus in both lung. يعني بطعج حاله على right lung وبطعج لحاله على left lung. بعمل لي طبعتين هون وهون. This is the esophagus. Let me show you in this figure. So again, this is the cardiac impression, and this is the groove for superior vena cava, and this is for inferior vena cava, right? And this groove is for esophagus. And behind it, there is a groove here, which is for a zygous vein, right? And here, of course, you have one for the first rib, subclavian vein, and subclavian vein and subclavian artery, right? And here is for the thymus and fat. Here is the pression for trachea here. You know, the esophagus is here because it comes from up here so these impressions guys for the right lung now what about the left lung well it's much easier i think than the right lung because it shares come couple of things but when you say left you always remember the arch of aorta when you say right you remember superior and inferior vena cava 
So in the left lung, you have an impression for arch of aorta. انت بعليا. لما بحط لك هون arch of aorta. لما بحط لك هون بدك تقول لي descending aorta. ما بصيرش. كل شيء بيختلف. So this is an impression for arch of aorta and descending aorta. And also again for um, uh, the esophagus and for the first trip subclavian vein and artery. And here is most importantly the cardiac impression for the left ventricle. It's large, larger even than the right. Let me show you in the Nutter Atlas. So this figure from Nutter Atlas. Thank you, Nutter. Um, you know maybe the story of Nutter. He was an um, MD student in the first year and he was still really in drawing. So uh, they adapted him, I think, uh, تنو فيه واخذوه قالوا له تفضل ارسم يعني amazing amazing atlas so the impression um, here on the left the cardiac impression very clear and you have an arch this is an for the arch of aorta and continued descending aorta look anterior to it there is one for esophagus that comes from here right يعني قلت لك esophagus بخل من يمين وشمال Furthermore, here is for thymus and fat. Here is for first rib, subclavian vein and artery. I know it's written here, precuciphalic vein, another text box, subclavian. We can say here, subclavian, here, precuciphalic, lift the precuciphalic vein. I, I don't care too much about it, but yeah. So, the uh, silly uh, information about the lung that we mentioned that this is the right lung that has three lobes, superior, middle, and inferior. But the left lobe has just superior and inferior. It has just two lobes. Look, three lobes because you have two fissures on the right. You have oblique fissure, and also you have oblique fissure on the left. But... In the right, you have a horizontal fissure, or you call it sometimes transverse fissure. So the right has two fissures. Sometimes, you know, all of these characteristics of or true about the lungs, three fissures, horizontal, mafish, fiha lingula, a lingula mewain, cardiac notch related to what? So as you see here, the lingula and cardiac notch related to the superior lobe of left lung. Superior, not inferior. So we mentioned all of these things. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Okay. Machine my tamam ya shabab sabaya. Tamam doctor. Bye. Bye doctor. Bye. Kadesh hadar bala andak. Tamam doctor. Kadesh hadar at teams. Okay. 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 تمام ان شاء الله يكونوا حاضرين مش نايمين امبارح اللاب في 70 واحد انت تركين الفيديو ماشيين الله يهديكم طيب um, the we yesterday we talked about the bronchopulmonary segment just in hurry although it's um, i would say at this stage is not that much important but you have to know that the lobes of the lung you see here the right lung and left lung, three lobes and two lobes in the left. So each lobe, guys, can be subdivided into segments, right? These segments called bronchopulmonary segments. Let me uh, iterate again here, remind you that the trachea, do you remember the this area, which is the carina, carina of the trachea? Carina. كراينا في شركة امبارح نسينا نحكي معلومة مهمة جدا 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 عن الكراينا. Uh, the carina is the most sensitive structure, the most sensitive structure in the trachea. So once you, uh, uh, somebody um, or like mucus or a foreign particle hits in there, بالكراينا. So it's because it's very sensitive, the most sensitive structure in the trachea and larynx also. So it uh, stimulates the uh, cough reflex. Mubashar, بتقح وبطلعها مباشرة أول ما تضرب هون. 
على العموم ذا تريك ديفايدد ان تو مين برونكس رايت اند ليفت لوك ات ذا ليفت ات كونتينيوز انسايد ذا لانج بتضل ماشي حتى توصل جوا الزنق بعدين بتتفرع بس ذا رايت لانج از لايك ان هاري سو ات ديفايدز ايرلي اند جيفز ا سكندري لوبر Um, bronchus to the superior lobe as you see here this is the superior lobe of the lung and then the secondary or the lower bronchus divided into tertiary uh, bronchus tertiary bronchus or we call it segmental segmental because each one goes to a segment each one has goes to a segment so The most interesting that each segment, guys, is surgically, functionally, and anatomically separated. That means if there is an, a tumor or uh, any disease in that segment and there is a surgical need to remove that segment, yes, you can remove it with its segmental bronchus, segmental artery, segmental vein, and nerve, and the lung will not be affected. Why? Because these segments, let me show you, um, These segments, guys, completely separated, like, yes, they are connected to each other by um, connective tissue, but can't be removed, right? Without affecting other segments. This is the idea that I want you to know. This is number one. Now, somebody can say, yes, um, um, what about the... Uh, how can we memorize it? I don't care too much about memorizing those segments, but... I have an easy way, if you are interested, maybe later in thoracic surgery, or if you are interested, it takes three minutes. Let us, um, uh, let us, let, let me show you how can we memorize them. They are very easy. For example, let us start with the right lung. In the right lung, you have 10 uh, bronchopulmonary segments, and then عشرة. Now, you look to the mediastinal surface and here on the right you are looking to the costal surface okay so the the easier way is to remember the fissures oh yes this is the oblique fissure right and this is the horizontal fissure okay so now that means i have three lobes excellent So let us start with the superior lobe. This one is the superior lobe. Superior lobe and the left. And the abical, أعلى واحد. هذا الأبيكل. And it has anterior and posterior. يا سلام. عندي واحد أبيكل and one anterior and one posterior segment. Okay, hey three. Now come to the middle lobe. This one. You are looking to the mediastinal surface. Yes, so this is medial lobe. And when you look here to the middle lobe, this is the middle lobe. Right? Middle lobe. So, yes, this is the extension of the medial and lateral. يعني الميدل لوب عنده شو? Medial, اتجاه الميدل, and lateral. Thank you so much. Now, what about the inferior lobe? This large one. Inferior lobe, بلملي كل الأسامي اللي فوق. كيف يعني? And the apical, and I have anterior basal, one posterior, one lateral. When I'm about to look at you, I'm going to see where the medial. Easy or difficult? Easy, doctor. Easy. But why did you say that the apical is superior to the inferior? Well, well, your point is correct. It's Uh, يعني تقدر عشان يعني يمكن احيانا يميزوها انما هي تقدر تحكي السوبيرير سيجمنت او الابيكال سيجمنت زي ما مكتوب هنا يعني حاط لك اياها تحت عشان تعرف انه في كتب كثير بيستعملوا هاي بيستعملوا هاي زين فانت يا بتقول عشان تميزها عن الفوقانيه شو بتقولي؟ بتقولي ابيكال سيجمنت اوف ويتش لوب اوف انفيريور لوب صح؟ اه مزبوط اه وهي بتيجي رقم آه ستة الابيكال سيجمنت اوف سوبيرير لوب هيك انت ميزتي بيناتها اذا آه هاي هي فيري سيمبل هلا شوف الليفت لانج طبعا الليفت لانج مش شابهه بجزئيه فيري سيمبل ذا ليفت لانج يو هاف جاست وان فيشر اند تو لوبس سوبيرير لوب اند انفيريور لوب ذا سوبيرير لوب هاز طبعا التكست بوك هلا بيختلفوا بس حعلمك طريقه يو هاف ابيكال 
يس في حد بيقدر يقول هاي مش ابيكال ذيس از ابيكال ابيكال سيجمنت اند اولسو سم تكس بوك ذيس از نوت جاست بس ابيكال اتس اتس ابيكو بوستيرير يعني هذا الجزء حقول عنه بوستيرير سو وير از انتيرير ذيس از انتيرير ذات مينز ات هاز انتيرير اند بوستيرير اند ابيكال بلس دو يو ريمبر ذا كارديك نوتش اند دو يو ريمبر ذا لينجولا Yes, which is part from. In Bahsoti, when I go here, part from superior lobe. Yes, the lingula horn. I have superior lingular segment or inferior lingular segment. Thank you so much. Now, the inferior one, مشابه للانجل اللي خلفه. Abical, anterior, posterior, lateral, ومن جوا medial. Thank you. هاي عندي. In the left lung, you have from eight to ten segments. It depends if sometimes two segments if used to each other. So we consider them one. So from eight to ten. You know that I don't want to waste that much of time. We talked yesterday about the pulmonary trunk and pulmonary artery that carries the um. Deoxygenated blood, then the oxygenated blood retained by pulmonary vein. Of you are over. We don't do this information now. The, uh, the blood supply of the lung, which is very easy. Um, look, the right lung, the right lung and the bronchus, uh, of course, um, supplied by the right bronchial artery. You have one. And on the left side, no, the left lung and bronchus supplied by two bronchial arteries. You have superior one, you see the shadow of it, and inferior one. So, back to the right. So, the right lung and bronchus supplied, as I mentioned, by single right bronchial artery, which is a branch from... Posterior, the third, posterior intercostal artery. But it's not always, not Quran Kareem, this or the Angel. Sometimes this artery comes from the superior left bronchial artery, the other artery. Sometimes it gives that branch. It's important. On the left side, you have two bronchial artery. One superior from the uh, from the descending aorta, from anterior aspect of descending aorta. One above the bronchus, high left bronchus. You have left bronchus, high left bronchus. So one above the left bronchus and one below the left bronchus. The vein drain into um, mainly pulmonary vein. The blood returned to the heart by pulmonary vein, and also by bronchial veins. في هون أيضا bronchial artery yes there is a bronchial veins on the right they drain in azygos and the left they drain in hemiazygos here what about the lymphatics which is uh, the source of uh, metastasis of tumors well guys the lymphatics from the lung started from here from this is a trachea yes and this is a bronchus so these lymph nodes we consider them tracheobronchial tracheo Bronchial. The tracheobronchial bronchial join the parasternal nodes. High sternum. On each side there is nodes called parasternal. So these parasternal, so parasternal nodes join the uh, tracheobronchial node, and also they join the brachiocephalic. This is brachiocephalic vein here, brachiocephalic vein here. So also they all join together and create a trunk. This trunk, either on the right or on the left, called bronchomediastinal trunk. Bronco, the bronco mediastinal, uh, because uh, it drains the uh, parasternal and so forth. So all they drain in the deep vein. Why I'm not um, determining exactly because there is a variation in the location, but mainly in the subclavian or at the bifurcation of um, uh, or union of subclavian with internal jugular. Yes. Innervation of the lung is very simple. You remember the pulmonary plexus. You have anterior pulmonary plexus. And you have posterior pulmonary plexus. When you say plexus, when you say organ, that means um, 
you are talking about the um, autonomic nervous system that means you have sympathetic and you have parasympathetic and when you think about organs in the abdomen or in the thorax mainly what comes to your mind is the vagus nerve so the parasympathetic right so this is the sympathetic trunk you will um uh, you will get more information about that in the next um, uh, semester so this is the sympathetic that participates and this is the vagus nerve so sympathetic and parasympathetic you know that the vagus nerve because it's parasympathetic it constricts the bronchioles لما بتكون انت مروق باراسيمباثيتك ها باراسيمباثيتك مروق ومرتاح ومتمدد الفيجاس نيرف بيشتغل لويش بدي لويش بدي البرونكيولز تتوسع وتفوت هواء لكن لما بدك تركض وخايف بيشتغل عندك السيمباثيتك سيستم وبيعمل دايليشن للبرونكيولز بيوسعهم عشان يدخل يعني تو جيت مور اير اوكي this slide is very important and we explained it in details yesterday so it's important either to the lung or to the pleura so this is the location as a physician you have to know where's to put your stethoscope to for example this is the apex of the lung you put it here above the clavicle the superior lobe which is here above the breast or above the nibble here to superior lobe Around the nibble is the middle lobe. I'm like approximation. يعني زي هون هذا middle lobe هون. بس ما. Below and lateral to the breast or nibble, here is the inferior lobe. The most important thing you need to know is that the middle lobe just can be seen and can be you can auscultate the sound and the of the middle lobe. just anteriorly why because here is posteriorly this is the right lung this is the left lung where is the middle lobe so you have no way to listen to the middle lobe posteriorly middle lobe if you on the right lung you talk about the right lung so where is the middle lobe no middle lobe you if you want to listen for the sound of middle lobe go anteriorly the right side this is the middle lobe Okay, here is uh, posteriorly, you can hear um, the apex of the lung here, and um, here also just a little bit be away from the scapula here, put the scope for the superior lobe, and the auscultation triangle here, which is, I think, you took it, I think, in the uh, muscular system, auscultation triangle here, the uh, to the inferior lobe. So, how can I draw the... Oblique fissure. ممكن واحد يقول لك okay, we're doing oblique fissure. Okay. Ask the patient. It's at the level from the end posteriorly at the level of T4, T4. Or an easy way. Ask the patient to do this action. خلي يشبك إيديه ورا بعضهم. So the scapula will be rotated. So the medial margin of the scapula. بتحسه بإيدك. هون هون. So the oblique fissure. أصلاً من ورا مش راح تشوف بس oblique fissure. So the oblique fissure passes at the lower border of the scapula. انتهى الموضوع. بترسمه بخط and do whatever you want. Right? Horizontal, it cont it follows the not T4, rib four here. Right? Okay. So here is an X-ray. Let me show you a couple of things about the X-ray. So you can see the shadow of the trachea here, guys, in the X-ray. And here is the carina, and it divided. Look at the uh, uh, trachea and the bronchi, and it divided secondary and tertiary here. And these are kind of lymph nodes. Normally, the lung, the lung will take an X-ray. Normal lung should be black, right? Ilhawa bati aswad. So look at the the inferior margin of the lung. It's sharp. Excellent. This is the costophrenic. Angle. This is a sharp costophrenic angle. There is no fluid. Look at the. This is the level of the diaphragm, of course. Look at the right um, of the left side surgery here. Gases in the stomach. How about gas when? In the stomach. Okay. Now, why you 
when when you want to see the clavicle and ribs especially anteriorly and you want to have an idea about the size of the heart ask always for posterior anterior لما بيجي عليك المريض بتوديه على الاشعه بتكتب له chest x ray pa يعني posterior anterior يعني تحكي للتكنيشن اعطيه الاشعه الاشعه البيمز تخبطه من الخلف راح تاخذوها بالراديولوجي فلما تخبطها انت من الخلف في عندك البورد من الامام فالهارد قريب من الامام فبيعطي صوره طبيعيه نورمال ايديا اباوت كلافيكال ريبس اند ذا سايز اوف ذا هارت سو سو بوستيريور انتيريور بريفيرد مور انتيريور بوستيريور فور اكزامبل ذيس از ا بوستيريور انتيريور بوستيريور انتيريور سو ذا سايز اوف ذا هارت از لايك اكسبتد right and most importantly if you guys you want to see the inferior margin of the lung the cause of diaphragmatic recess بدك تشوف اذا في فلويد نازل تحت في بلورال افيوجن خذ posterior anterior علشان يكون اللنجز قريب من اللوح ويطلع عندي شارب right نعم هون مبين شارب بس posterior anterior افضل هلا بورجيك انا صوره look this is anterior posterior يعني حتخبط الاشعه من الامام وهذا سيء ضد الهارد قديش مبين اللارج يعني لو شفته بتقول يعني انلارجمنت بالهارد which is false enlargement right and costo a phrenic angle the inferior border of lung is not clear where is that you cannot tell if there is a fluid or not that's why we prefer posterior anterior so look at this x-ray in the lung should be black طبعا هي تعيس للتصوير بس anyway So in the left lung, you see this white color, like distributed, poorly defined. There is no margin, يعني ما في mass, poorly defined, which is a kind of inflammation in the lung. That means a biad معناه to fluid, mainly fluid. لما بكون distributed like that, so it's mostly pneumonia. So again, this is the right lung. Oh, sick! It's the left is good, maybe kind of, but look at the right. This is the superior lobe. This is the middle lobe. This is the inferior lobe of the right lung. So where is the infection? Where is the fluid? It's in the middle lobe. Lobe. Yes, lobe pneumonia mainly, and not mainly exactly in the middle lobe, right? Middle lobe of right lung. So um, here, guys, yes, right is good. Left is, but here in the left, you have a white like a mass. You cannot say tumor. You can say mass. It will define margin. It's different than this, right? Distributed white color. So this is a mass. Then it should be defined TB or what or mass tumor. In this case, for example, um, uh, bronchogenic uh, carcinoma here shown, and the X-ray. Look at it here. How is that? So ah, now look at the costophrenic or costo diaphragmatic recess and angle here very clear sharp no fluid so because it's uh, posterior anterior i can tell yes this gas here in the stomach um bis saraha ana tahal waqt lakin bis syllabus fi shi ismu internal thoracic yani internal thoracic artery it should be covered in the cavity but um in the thoracic cavity but i don't know why it's here This is the internal thoracic artery, branching from subclavian artery, guys. Uh, passes behind the coastal cartilage, all the way up to reach the sixth coastal cartilage. It's one centimeter lateral to the sternum. Um, uh, there is inter internal thoracic artery and vein, of course. They used in the open heart surgery. When I open the sternum, sometimes, most of the time, they use it as a graft. The open heart, as a tool. When we have patients with coronary arteries, we use them. They take them. They are in the way. So they take them. Because there are other arteries can supply the uh, anterior part of the thoracic cavity. This is number one. So at the level of sixth uh, costal cartilage, it divided into superior epigastric, descending the abdomen. Of course, you can revise the anterior abdominal wall lecture from the previous semester. And the other branch, uh, the sixth costal cartilage, the other branch, which is the musculophrenic artery, that follows the costal cartilage until it reaches the last rib. This is just to know, and uh, this is another posterior review, and thank you so much.